A Day at the Swamp Belinda, the brontosaurus, lived by a swamp fifteen crore years ago. Day and night she swam through the swamp, swaying her long neck from side to side. She ate tender marsh plants. On special occasions, such as her birthday, she stepped onto land and stretched out her strong neck. It towered above the palm trees and pines. But Belinda wasn't as tall as her cousins Danny, the Diplodocus, who stood almost ninety feet high, or Ben, the Brachiosaurus, who was even taller. Brontosaurus, Diplodocus, and Brachiosaurus belonged to the family called Sauropods, who were very large herbivorous dinosaurs. One day, when they were bored with gliding in the water, the three cousins lifted their huge bodies out of the swamp and planted their massive legs on land. They shook the water from their backs, and it sprayed out around them like a summer shower. Danny wanted to play hide-and-seek, but they were so much larger than any of the trees that it was impossible for them to hide. So Ben suggested, let us play chase. But we mustn't go far from the swamp, Belinda warned. They knew it could be dangerous to go too far from home. Sauropods were only comfortable when they lived immersed in water. Also, they were too heavy to run away from a hungry, flesh-eating dinosaur. At first, they played among the bushes and trees around the water. But soon the game took them farther and farther into the forest. The hot sun descended towards night. Suddenly they heard a terrible noise. It rolled across the open land and surrounded them like thunder. In the last few moments of daylight, they saw the enormous head of Terry, the Tyrannosaurus, racing towards them. Terry was the terror of the mainland. He had teeth that were eight inches long. The cousins were in danger. They turned around and pounded back in the direction of the swamp. But would they make it to safety? Although they were twice as large as Terry, they moved like elephants on four thick legs. Whereas Terry, curling his small front legs before him, like a kangaroo, made enormous fast leaps on his strong back legs. I prefer playing chase to being chased like this, Danny wailed. So do I, moaned Ben. My legs are hurting and I am hungry and frightened. It's all right. Do not give up, Belinda cried. Just keep going till we get to the swamp. At that moment, the sun dropped below the horizon. Black night surrounded them, as though someone had suddenly switched off an electric light. In the darkness, they could smell the swamp ahead. First Danny, then Ben, then Belinda plunged into the marshy water. Immediately, their heavy bodies felt light again, and they glided away from the shore. A few seconds later, they heard Terry roaring at the swamp's edge. But his roar became an unhappy wail, for Terry was scared of water. His little front legs were not strong enough for swimming. As the cousins heard him hop unhappily away, first Danny, then Ben, and then Belinda, began to laugh with relief. But they never played chase outside the swamp again.